did I end up here? My whole life, all its ups and downs, led me to this place. Far from home, far from anyone I know. A journey whose route is unknown. And the destination, out of sight. Was this path just a random sequence of events that I had to follow? Or was there ever another way? Now, heading for the unknown, I can't really tell. Is this the end of the road? Or is it yet another branching? Emergency flare from my capsule. I should look out for those. Hello? Can you read me? This is Jan Dolsky. I've landed safely, but I think my capsule went astray. Looks like she died inside of it. I don't get it. Here. Anyone copy? 
If you can hear me, I've located the base. I'm gonna try and get down there. Maybe we landed closer to the drop-off point. I gotta keep moving. Capsules. Wait. Wait. What? No. That's impossible. They can't all be. Why? Makes no sense. fast. I gotta get to the base. Anybody here? <sighs> For a moment, I hope someone else made it. I need to find the comms room and get help. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Mayday! Mayday, anyone? Yeah, I'm here, but uh, uh, I'm not the captain, I'm just a builder. Jan Dolsky, corporate ID, 4672B. The captain, the whole crew, is gone. Hello? Can you get me out of here? You're in imminent danger. Oh, my time remaining. What do you mean? Remaining to what? Talk to me. What's the danger? Oh no 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 no! Don't you go all fuzzy on me. Quantum nav system. Where the hell did it send us? Lethal proximity of what? Proximity. You 
you know, a star will come and, and burn this planet, and I, and I just have days to escape? Is that right? Sunrise. Oh, sunrise. Perfect. I need to find those captain's logs.
This quantum nav system isn't that useless after all. I knew where it was sending us. Except. Anyone copy? I went out to find resources, and I found a cave full of something. I think it might be... Rapidium. You hear me? I think I found Rapidium. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, what else could it be? Test it. Test the Rapidium? How would I do that? New blueprint provided. The wound. A blueprint? The womb. You want me to build a womb? Sample of DNA provided. Who are you? Yes. The womb, huh? A DNA sample, huh? I guess it makes sense. Rapidium speeds up organic growth.
goes in a sample pitium <laughs> I'm sorry to worry this wasn't such a good idea <laughs> oh. oh of course <laughs> what else <laughs> I'm going to call you Molly. Okay, I built the womb and uh, tested the rapidium. The DNA sample provided was a little surprising, but it worked, I think. I cloned a sheep. <laughs> Can you hear me? I, I have a sheep on board. You're responsible for two lives now. Go. You told me to do it because it could save me. Now let's get down to it. Is it gonna get the engines running or what? Rapidium can save you. I need to check data consistency. Only the captain has access codes to the quantum computer. Now you're really freaking me out.
How did they get it, and what for? Hey, I checked the quantum computer. What do you want with it? What exactly will be branching? What? You what? Is that your whole answer? Alter? Alter what? Idiom. Cloning a sheep. Branching... Myself? Altering my life by messing with my own memories? I mean... What does he want me to do? No way in hell. Give me my other options. You're in danger. Over time remaining. You jerk. I don't have other options, do I? about?
Hey, hey there. Uh, wow. Um, hello. Hello? Can, can you hear me? Uh, I, uh... What is this? Where am I? You're in a lab inside the SIBA unit. Your memories might be a bit fuzzy, but relax. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, recognize the base, I think. Wait, you look funny. You, ha ha. Oh. What was that? I wanted to laugh, but I'm like, indifferent. I think you're on some meds. What? What for? So you don't panic when you wake up. Why would I panic? I'll... I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition, okay? Do you think you can, uh, introduce yourself? Sure. But can you? Okay. My name is Jan Dolsky. <laughs> yeah, sure. You got my looks, why not use my name too? So you think you're Jan Dolsky as well? What kind of bullshit is this? Hmm? What's your role on the mission? I'm a senior technician. Wanna tell me what your role is? Imitating human crew members? Is this some kind of sick experiment? Because if it is, nobody warned me. It's not an experiment. This is for real. And I'm for real. So, what's going on? Well, I got stranded in this base, and, um, well, I needed someone to help me move it. As it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum computer on board to, uh, well, create alternate versions of a person's life. What? Replicate a person, but with different experiences. Mind records. If there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room, it's definitely not me. The QC's only functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it could do other stuff, but such bullshit. I know, it's absurd. I thought the same, but here you are, right? Right. If I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're an alternate version of me with a different mind? Sort of, yeah. And, uh, you said we were stranded. Yes. It's just us. Like I said, there's a malfunction in the machinery. If you don't help me fix it soon, we're both gonna die. So, wait. Let me get this straight. This is not an experiment, and you're a different version of me. This version of me woke me from cryosleep to help fix a malfunction because there's no one else on board. What if there was no malfunction? Where would I be?
you'd still exist somewhere? Theoretically, at least? Theoretically? Wow. You bastard. I can see now what the meds are for. I can't even lash out at you. Just this passiveness. What am I? Look, this is a lot, and we'll sort it out, I promise. But trust me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're gonna go in a very bad way, and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. <sighs> I don't like this kind of pressure. Well, that makes two of us. Fine. Show me the way. Unbelievable. What a screw up. The okay. In any other case, I'd say don't touch anything here ever again. Fortunately, this is a two-man job. On my sign, pull that lever over there. Just don't yank it like an idiot. Pull it gently. Ready? One, two, three, now. Yes! <laughs> it worked! You did it. We're gonna live. Let's get one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Now stay away from me. Hey there. I said, don't come near me. Time to get a grip, man. We need to fix the comms room so we can make it out of here faster. Are you deaf? I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Now get out of my face, creep. You're pissed off at me now, but deep down, we both know you do the same thing. Really? You said it yourself. We might look alike, but we're different. Like oil and water, if you ask me, and they don't mix well. Maybe. But you won't last long without me, just as I couldn't make it without you. In a situation like this, hiding in a trench is just plain stupid. I'll tell you what's stupid. Listening to someone who created you because he needs a fucking tool. Why don't you get yourself a repair kit and fix your own shit? I'm done doing your dirty work.
Hello? Uh, Mr. Dalski? Yeah, uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Are you okay? I think so. I, I was almost done for, but then I got these crazy instructions to duplicate and edit myself. Was that you? Uh, yeah. I it's called branching. The duplicating and editing thing. I need to know if you pulled it off. Really? And I need to know who I'm talking to. I didn't catch your name. Oh, Lucas Pena, Space Traffic Control, Orbital Substation L7. Now, the branching. Did you do it? Yeah. I created my... altar. Thanks for the help, I think. Is this even... legal? You found Rapidium, Mr. Dalski. We needed to act. So, you're getting me out of here, right? You know how to do it, safely. Sure. First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Uh, second thing... Do you think I could see this... altar of yours? That's not a good idea. He's pissed off at me, won't cooperate. Then we have a problem. You won't manage without his help. The base needs more hands on deck. There should be a way to gain his trust. Sh show him you care, maybe? I told him I wouldn't survive without him. Yeah, that's just words. Maybe you should share something. What? Why? I don't know. Just a thought. My grandma used to say, sharing is caring. Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? Yeah, true. Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. Of course. Memories. I wonder if he remembers things the same way I do. Yeah. Mind records. See? You were so spooked by them, they could be a source of information. Fine. I'll check them out, see what happens. Shit, I, uh, gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry, you're in good hands. L7 out. Molly? Oh, you don't bite, do you? I've been thinking about what you said.
You're right. We are different. Sure we are. Like, I got that right away, and you took your sweet time. I'm serious. You stood up to Dad. I didn't. Oh, really? And what did you do? Just stand and watch him take it out on Mom? I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it, but when it came down to it, I just freeze. Guess I was afraid of making things worse. Yeah, I remember the feeling. But then I reached a breaking point. Looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours. Or maybe I was a coward. Going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all. Oh, so that's where our paths split. Did you shine out there? Were you best in class? What do you think? Huh? Yeah. Now build around this merry-go-round. That's who I ended up being. I'm sorry to disappoint. Why would I be disappointed? Just proves I was right to stick with Mom. Wait, is Mom... Is she maybe still around, here? No. I wish she was. She always knew what to do. And how to cheer you up. Hey. When you were down, or... Dad had just stormed out of the house, slamming the door behind him and leaving you crying in your room, would she ask me to help her make pierogi? Her famous pierogi. <laughs> oh my god, I could really pig out on those. And making them together was fun. Fun. Yeah, wow, why don't we go for it? Why don't we try and make mom's famous pierogi? Uh, no way we'd find the ingredients here. said they have to be right. Beer and synthetic starch should work. Yeah. Hilarious. I can pull it off. You'll see. But there's one condition. You're eating them with me. If you die, I die. Why not? Won't change much, I guess. Famous Dolsky pierogi with an interstellar twist. What do you think? Oh. <clears throat> now I know how Mom must have felt. That day she had a terrible flu and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. Right. Yeah. I put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. They were inedible. But, you remember what she did? Uh-huh. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no, she said they were delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So? They're delicious, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. How do you feel? Great. A serving of dehydrated dumplings completely changed my outlook on the situation. I feel so optimistic about life now. Now you're being mean. I went through a lot of trouble to make those, and they weren't that bad. 
Now you made an effort. I'll give you that. But see, that makes it even worse. It would be easier to hit you, but eating those fucking pierogi with you, I actually enjoyed it. So did I. Sharing these memories with you, knowing you understand me, that was kind of comforting. Are you getting mushy with me? What? No. Okay, okay, just kidding. I know what you mean. I'm just not the sentimental type. Who's being sentimental? All I said was... All right, all right. Just tell me what the plan is. touch with this guy from STC, Lucas. He says Allied Corp is coming for us, they'll take care of everything. We just need to transport the base to our destination safely. So, he knows about me? He knows what he needs to know. Don't worry about it, they've got us covered. You're very trusting for someone who's... me. So, what's gonna happen to me? You'll be fine. I promise. Oh yeah? And who are you to guarantee that, Yandolsky? The corporation doesn't give a shit about you or me. All they want is Rapidium. I'll help you. But there's one more thing we need to get out of the way. What's that? I don't think I should be the only one. You don't mean... Yes, I do. This base is a resource-consuming, maintenance-heavy sucker to operate. You'll need to create more versions of me. Versions of us both, you mean? Huh. <laughs> that almost sounded like we're planning kids. You need to work on your cooking skills, though. Actually, I can't wait to branch myself again. Sure. Take the bull by the horns. Good luck keeping him happy. Are you... real? More real than you, I'm afraid. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. Oh, this is insane, what a trip. It's not a trip, it's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we brothers or something? We have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down. You're not the original, Jan, but that doesn't mean you can't be important. Well, you look like me, but also not like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? No. You're not hallucinating. Remember who you are. My name is Jan Dolsky, but I'm seeing fucking double. You should worry about that. 